I'm in decision support. We have a team of people in decision support with varying backgrounds. My background is in health records originally. And uh, we will provide any information for all of the patient care programs. So each one of us is dedicated to specific programs. In my case, I'm dedicated to the surgery program and the mental health program. So any data that they need, uh, they'll come to me for that. Well, I can provide information from our National Ambulatory Care Reporting System, NACRS, which is our emergency information, and we can look at diagnoses in the emergency room. The information from the Ontario Mental Health Reporting System, OMERS, any information on the inpatients. I get data from the census, so I can show patients that are off service. I can get financial data, which shows their cost per day on the unit. Outpatient information from the manual data that's collected within the department and also information from the LIN on prevalence of mental health in the community, for example. So any internal and external data related to financial services or clinical services. The OMERS data tells a very important piece of our story. So we start with the emergency room and actually we can go back a step and look at prevalence of mental health and addiction diagnoses in the community. And then what we've found in our emergency department is we have about 75,000 emergency visits a year overall, of which about 2,500 are mental health or addictions or substance abuse problems. And then from there we're looking at how long people stay in hospital. Uh, the length of stay can be compared by diagnosis using the OMERS reports. And then internal we Internally, we can always still compare one doctor to another just to see the difference in how long they're keeping their patients in. We've seen a huge decrease in our length of stay over the last few years because of the fact that we've had so much increase in patients coming in but no increase in beds. So to be able to manage that increased demand, we've had to reduce the length of stay. That also has required us to increase our outpatient activity, so we've had tremendous increases in our outpatient mental health activity. So getting patients out sooner, but getting them followed up more quickly in an outpatient program. So we use the OMERS data to look at uh, the scores, uh, depression, severity scores, uh, cognitive uh, abilities, managing medications, managing finance, all of the outcome indicators that are in OMERS. We look at the percentage of change in score from admission to discharge. So that is the only way for us to really tell how effective we've been. The other thing we can look at is readmission. How many patients have to come back? So if you send someone home too soon, you don't get them into an outpatient program soon enough, they come back within seven days, within 30 days. So we look at the data uh, for that reason as well to see how many patients have to be readmitted. Now there's a regional aspect to that too because what we've done is now we've organized within the city of Ottawa, within the Lynn, uh, through the Royal Ottawa Hospital, we're looking at using the OMERS data regionally. So we're looking at patients that get readmitted but to other hospitals as well. So it, it was, it's very helpful to have the information listed for the different hospitals so you can look at the acuity, the case mix index to see what, how you compare to those other hospitals. Using the data as a resource, sort of like if you go into a grocery store and you want to make a meal, you choose the things that you need for that meal. You don't get overwhelmed by the millions of different things that are on the shelves. You kind of know what you need and you put together something that works for you. So I sort of look at the, the CIHI data that's available in that way, just to start somewhere by telling their story and just picking and choosing some key indicators and monitoring those things. Well, I'm on the mental health patient care team, so I'll report the data to the patient care team. The patient care team is chaired by the chief of psychiatry, there's also a family physician and other psychiatrists, also the nurse manager, 
the uh, clinical director, social worker, and uh, the um, occupational therapist are on the team as well. So I'll present the data there that goes to the board and the quality council. Those indicators get discussed at that program as well. And I've just made a connection to the nurse who's responsible for the change to the electronic record. So we'll be having some conversations as well.